Hello? 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 Is this thing working? Hello? You guys receiving me out there? Okay, let's give this a whirl. Can I have one of these? <sighs> okay, um, so, we're at the finish line. Oh, hey, Bear, what are you doing at, bud? Can I help? What? We're at the finish line. <sighs> yes, it, uh, it's time to collapse the dollar, to finish it, globally, all over. Um, and the reason being is because the final ingredient is in place. The whole, as you all know, the whole idea behind collapsing the dollar is the Hegelian dialectic. Ah, no problem! Your dollar is worthless, we'll let you exchange it for this. Cyber cash. Ah, you, you got a chip in the bottom of your car. Don't worry, you don't have to put a chip in the palm of your hand or in your forehead. Or whatever, your mark of the beast. Don't worry, it's nothing like that. All you have to do is use your bank card or your credit card. Okay, well, you don't have one. I guess you're going to not be able to buy anything, so you better... Mosey on down to your local government shop and get one, or your local bank and get one, or whatever. Uh, you know, of course, start dispensing it through the usual desperate, vicious means where people don't have a choice, like like welfare or get out of prison quick schemes or wherever the the usual methods. So, what's the big problem? Why why is nobody reporting on this? I mean, that fake uh, disclosure on Utah Data Bluff Center was so fucking fake and obvious and lame that, I mean, we're not necessarily saying Ed Snowden is anything more than a useful idiot. I'm not suggesting he's, you know, just playing out a script that was lit read to him and agreed upon. Um, I mean, really, do you, do, do you really think they pay simple data monkeys $250,000? Okay, so what are we going to do about it? Well, we're going to scream, and if, even if we don't, they'll make it seem that we're screaming, close down those fucking spy computers! Okay, now you have a whole bunch of yeah, that, that's right, I'm repeating this a third time in, in, within one week because, oddly enough, nobody seems to want to pick it up. Like, what, are, are all the people that I'm associated with on, on the take? Um, <laughs> which wouldn't surprise me that not one fucking person that isn't on the take doesn't get to see this stuff. You know, in the couple of days it usually takes to upload a ten minute video and you know, come out with their own approved versions a few hours beforehand. <clears throat> well, enough of that. <clears throat> so, hey, Kate. Oh, <sighs> I'm joined. <clears throat> they love it when you do. Reptilian shapeshifter. So. So now you've got the spy grid supposedly closed down due to public outrage. Just exactly at the same moment that the energy sector is being closed down under this uh, fake carbon tax, which, damn, even if it's not the final last straw to break the the remnants of this fiat economy, 
Well, don't worry, they'll, they'll come up with something else shorter, because the computers are ready. You can't have radio frequency ID, RFID chips, you, you can't have a successful system monopolized and owned by one if you don't have a trillion dollar computer system hooked in globally and loaded up with everyone's information. Run to go! Because at the same time you launch this solution to the collapsed currency, well, there's, there's going to be a dozen other banks trying to do the same thing, but they won't be able to move fast enough before the bellies go empty. Because all you got to do is flip the switch on the back of the spy computer. There you go, it's not a spy computer anymore. Relax, public, I promised you I would take care of all your needs. And there will be change. And you've got me for another four years, whether you like it or not. Flips the switch. There you go, they're not spy bots anymore. They're your new... Bankers. You've got your, your new global currency. And enjoy it. Because it's that or go hungry and not be able to buy or sell. Well, <clears throat> what's... Let's just go take a look at this farcical Utah data bank, shall we? Thanks for joining me, kitty. So, you know, if we actually had a political system like this, we could easily just uh, say, uh, yeah, okay. Let's close down the spy net, which they're not going to do, but they'll just make it look like all the surplus server space that they built on taxpayers' money. It's not needed in getting closed down and, you know, leased to some bank, global bank, for a dollar to solve the other crises that they've created. And, um, you know, we could just say, well, no, no, let's just get on our computers and have a vote. No, we, we don't want to give all this computer, government computer stuff to the banks. No, we're making a, a vote and proposals. We're going to introduce our own legislation. And we're gonna vote to build a new Library of Alexander because we're tired of what you've done with YouTube. And besides, it's crap tech anyhow. We need something as secure as the Utah Data Center at Bluffdale to serve this new world database and protect it and preserve it so that we truly can become a society of equally empowered individuals. No longer acting under the evil grasp of ignorance. Ig ig ignorance. Well, here, let's, let's go take a look at that at Bluff Center. <clears throat> it really would be that easy to circumnavigate these scams. That's, that's, that's all you'd have to do is just vote on it. You know, even if it was just introduced at the local congressman or local city councilor level or whatever, to where you were just sending your opinion we have verified voting process. To your democratic representative. That they then could tabulate what their constituents wanted. Take in the suggestions and put it up on there and say, Okay, is this what you guys want? Or is it this or is it that? 
because these are the suggestions you see in this open democratic forum that I got on my website. So I could better represent you constituents democratically and this is what I will take back to the House of Commons or the floor of the Congress or the city chamber or whatever and vote on. Okay, so you don't really actually need any fucking major, fucking major, major, gonna take decades to do changes to make a real democracy. No, all you need is one fucking politician to say, yeah, I'm going to do this on my authorized government website that the government funds and, and, and pays for. And this is what I'm going to do so I can better represent the public by knowing what the public actually wants. Hey, Yeah, I've passed this around to quite a few politicians and they immediately quit speaking to me. So what does that tell you? Even up and comings, I said, put this proposal out and you will be elected. Give the people the power, not 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 fucking one of these upcoming politicians would allow their potential constituents to have a say. That's representative democracy for you. A big fucking show game. All just to create public perception. Those votes you cast mean fucking nothing. You can't even verify your own fucking vote. Well, I'm trying to make this too long or it's going to take longer than it'll take them to implement this system. So this is the Ida Utah Center, eh? And, and this is what it's supposed to do. <clears throat> wrong! <clears throat> this is what it's supposed to do. They just built it under that, and this is how they're going to close down the remainder of the NSA. Which is, you know, now even served to outfits like the CIA. Out with the old CIA, you guys fucked yourselves over. All, all you had to do was, uh, you know, do your fucking job and follow the law. See that? Yeah, that, 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 that's an RFID chip. See that? That's a bank card. You know, you stick it in the slot after you pay for your groceries and it reads your chip. Doesn't matter. I mean, eventually, yeah, uh, you'll be compromised and you'll be forced to take it up the ass or in the palm of your hand or in your forehead or whatever. But for now, this will do. And you all have it. And if you don't, your old bank card will be uh, <clears throat> shut down and you soon will or you'll have no money to buy food. <clears throat> Just, um, absolutely amazed that I can't get out one person reporting on this. You know, of course, I mean, you, you look at my view counts and you know something's wrong, eh? Well, how come we never see more than 15 people or a dozen people seeing it? Well, because my channel's handled. That's why. There you go. You can go to this site. I'll put the link down again. There we go.
read all about your Utah data center. It's got some nice photos there and everything. And there's lots of these. And you know, they won't really close down the spy net because they've built like enough capacity to last it 50 years. They'll just close down, you know, half of the system, the new fancy parts, and lease them out. Because, I mean, you're not going to let trillion dollars just sit there and become obsolete and not get used. No, you're, you're going to lease it out. Conveniently enough. And there you have it. RFID server. Just one of many, and they're all over. But you'll demand they be closed down. And if you don't, well, they'll just pretend that you're demanding and make fake news reports, and um, they'll be closed down. Now, if you want to demand that you be used for a library, like my creative communication common communication co-op, yes, that's what we were calling it, the common communication co-op. You can go with that name. I mean, not that anyone's actually, you know, gonna ever actually give me credit for my work. The only credit I can get, which is credit enough, is to have somebody steal it and think that they can misuse it and, you know, yeah, you run with it, you go do all the work and then I'll just jump in and <clears throat> tweak the parts you tried to corrupt and, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's the long and the short, nobody wants to report it, preempt all this. You get out there and say, hey, no, we need a new library of Alexander, one that will not get burnt down, one that's in lots of centers, like the Vulcan Library. That's the core of our rebuild, come hell or high water, come nuclear warfare, come Armageddon, come whatever. If we've got the data, all the, everything from the chemistry to the plans and diagrams and <clears throat> facts about our life while well, you could literally wipe our brains clean and we could still start over you know once we were able to read all the data so it's like every bit as important as a uh, seed arc in reestablishing ourselves come what may so it's actually Money well spent. I'm, I'm assuming they made all this RF, uh, EMP resistant in case of a repeat of the Carrington solar storm. Uh, when the next one comes, or, 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 say you managed to trick some poor little guy like, uh, like, uh, Kim Jong un in, uh, North Korea to. You know, hoist an EMP nuke in a in a in, in a hydrogen balloon over your major cities, and you know, pull the electrical plug, or do it themselves and blame it on him, or you know, or just get impatient and fake a Carrington storm. We would still have our data to rebuild on. Not, maybe not the ability to read it, but at least the data. Because that's the thing that takes forever. The knowledge, the blueprints, the formulas. That's the hard part, the research. Once you know what to do, it's not such a great, difficult thing to redo. You know, providing like all your nuclear reactors haven't, you know, touched off a nuke jaw. And, you know, <clears throat> you're kind of worrying about picking your guts off the ground or your ass off the ground that you just uh, puked out because they're nuked. Alright, and uh, solar storm 
continues at a mild rate with plenty of potential for more. So, enjoy your summer as they probably can't hold out much longer without collapsing the dollar. Um, you know, we've circumnavigated a few of their venues to, to do that. This is the big one. No point collapsing the economy if you don't have a global currency ready to go, right? Now, I'm not saying destroy these data centers, save them, preserve them, but have them used for the taxpayer's interest for Homo sapiens continuance of existence. Alexander Library. Okay. But a, a good one that will last. A reciprocity for the essence of Homo sapien. And oh, I know who would really want to save it, but it's all we got. Y you have to get going. The universe needs. It's talking monkeys with its fingies to get out there and serve life to the universe. Okay, I told you this many times. Ten billion. Not ten billion useless fox disabled with chemicals and malnutrition and ignorance programming and created war and famine and disaster. No, no. Ten billion fully enabled. Get the fuck going! What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for, huh? Till you can't do it? That's, that's your purpose, your function, your whole design. Get going. Get going now. Get working on it. Rather than spending all your resources on annihilating each other. Yes, that's, that's exactly the effigy of... How you've been steered on the rocks, including that part about burning up all your primary rocket fuel. You know, your uranium, 235. <laughs> yes. Instead of using that to euthanize each other, use that to get doing the Star Trek thing, which begins with local space weather aversion mitigation. You don't want those asteroids knocking you out halfway through the. The start line, no, 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 or those solar Car Carrington's level solar storms, or galactic core bursts, or any of that, no, 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 no. <clears throat> and then have your core taken from my Earth after you're dispatched and DNA samples taken. And you've proven to be a failed species and sold off <clears throat> on the slave market. You won't be buying your grandchildren for parts. Your, your clones. No, 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 no. You have no future. Neither does your kind. If you don't turn this around... Is it your last chance? I would think so. <clears throat> they'll be so overconfident if they collapse the dollar, they'll continue doing the whole rest of it. You know, the plan for the 21st century. Agenda 21. Right. Peace out. Live long and <sighs> prosper. Yeah, live. Long and prosper. I think I got that right. All right, I'm sure this will take three or four days to upload. Not that I have slow upload, but like I said, my stuff gets held up, scrutinized, and stolen. Which is fine. I'm not complaining. As long as the word gets out there, although I don't particularly like getting cheated or having the message managed downward, trivialized. But, you know, a comparative crazy sociopathic beast, so I understand that. Hey, anyway, keep your eye on the space weather and um, get the word out there. 
Preempty son of a bitches. What would you sooner have? Cybercash? Your global? As in, you know, like a loony or a toony? Global? Or a worldo? Or whatever you want to call your new currency? Controlled by One World Bank? Would you sooner have all that shit? Or would you sooner have a real YouTube? A repository for all the shit. Not just the censored government shit, all the shit. All the knowledge, all the notions, all the beliefs, all the facts about humanity, your, your, you name it, your family albums, anything, data, just data, all of it. Would you sooner have that compiled in a permanent repository that everyone could access and add to? And give humanity the ability to be at a Star Trek level and serve life to Earth? Or would you sooner just be wiped out? Graphy, you'll probably, I assume you'll be alleviated of all your guilt because no life, no brain, no body, well, no sense. You choose. Choose really fucking quick and get saying something. Make your videos, make it viral, deal on. A common communication co-op. Don't have to go with that name because I thought it up. No, 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 no. That isn't important. Okay? Call it a library of infinite knowledge. Or whatever the hell you want. Get the idea out there before these cocksuckers say, Okay, we close down the nasty NSA. We're in serious debt. What are we going to do? Well, let's lease out some of this surplus equipment. <laughs>